Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. Cassandra and Tenia, and uh, yeah, so. It's been a while since we did the Space Engineers vid. Probably doesn't seem that long to you. Uh, but, it's been about two, three, almost a month, possibly for me. I've been doing some DayZ and I've been taking a break from Space Engineers. But, I'm back now and I've been focusing on my destroyer. I mentioned it in other vids. I mentioned it most prominently in my DayZ vid, which you can go check out if you want, but anyway. I said that I'd be showing off the system I'm using in it, uh, so this is it. It's a full section I've taken from it. It's got about 0 0.5 level of detail. I work in level of detail, don't ask me. Uh, I just work in level of detail on Space Engineers. So it's not far from complete. It's got zero, I call it about half level of detail. But anyway, you don't need to know any of that. So obviously here for this, so it's part, like I say, it's a whole section from the destroyer and inside there is the uh, little system I want to show you so uh, it is the ZDWS Zeus Directional Deployable Weapon System oh yes, it's as scary as it sounds so let's hop in there once I can get in almost there there Alright. Uh, there we go. Right. So, I A for the target, so awesome. Um, yes. I had a little problem before. Um, unfortunately, I got to see how powerful it was before um, I even got it out of the, uh, well, this little casing. Because um, I kind of fired through the hull. You can see it's a little dent there, which I forgot to fix. Oh well. Anyway, so there is some. I completely forgot what they're called. Doors with some description. I almost just destroyed the whole thing by doing it in the wrong order. So you press one, then two. Afterwards, when it's about halfway open, to get the full effect. Have a look at that. That is beautiful. Anyway, this is the ZDWS. So this is a deployable, as you deploy, directional, because it's not like a turret or anything, it has to fire in the direction I'm facing weapon system, uh, for obvious reasons. So it has its own independent cargo modules, on the sides as you can see, of course, quite a few. So it's got um, all hooked up, so you can chuck it in whatever cargo one you want, and it will go to the weapons. So it's got two large Gatling guns, and uh, they are badass. And some of my personal favourites are 25cm rat cannons, as seen on my uh, Griffin class. And there's an ice fan, oh my god. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not. You might be able to, you might not be able to, I don't know. But I can. Anyway, uh, I completely got distracted by SP. So, uh, this is a beauty. I love this. And I'm like I say, I'm employing I'm employing it. I'm uh, putting it in my destroyer. So, this is a, like I say, whole section. Uh, I've completed the front half at the moment. It's going to take a while because I want it perfect for YouTube and putting on the workshop. And I just want it perfect for myself as well because it is going to be great. It is a pretty large ship, considering it's a just, just a destroyer. It's not a battleship, it's not a dreadnought, it's not a titan, it's just a, it's just a destroyer, and it is huge. Um, so that's going to be fun. I can't wait to show that off, but it's, it's, it's got a while to go yet. So anyway, uh, you probably just want to see this fire. <laughs> is what we're here for, isn't it? So, line it up the target. So this is just the uh, large Gatling gun auto cannons. Oh, the sound! The sound of them is just. Have a look at the devastation. I might want to mention on the uh, target, I've got two layers of light armor, and then one layer of heavy armor underneath as well. Space. Let's so find the correct. Whoa! Okay. Wow. So, also something to mention about this is the fact that it has got a light armor chassis around it, but it is, as you can see, it is mostly exposed, and it's the way it works. It's the otherwise it's really big and bulky and quite hard to get through the doors. So, 
Now, this is why I just don't have it on top of the hull. Because if I just had it on top of the hull, bombers and fighters would wreck it. Absolutely wreck it. They could easily destroy it. So, which is why you let your other weapon systems, like your turrets and just your normal uh, directional weapons, deal with stuff until you get desperate. Then you open this door and raise it up. It is then, unfortunately, quite easily destroyed by just focusing fire on it, like fires or bombers or just, you know, any corvette or anything. It is very easily destroyed, which is why I say it's covered by this blast door. I remember what it's called, blast door. So it is like last use. Just really nice weapon. So yeah. Anyway, should we go see the damage which has been done? Oh, hoo -hoo. Oh yes. Oh dear. Oh wow. Okay, I did not expect this. That's a devastation. You can see the heavy, heavy armor spaced out behind it. Shit, this just got wrecked. Wow. It's around the upside. Oh yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. So the light armor it completely destroys, and the, yeah, the heavy armor it still pokes. Some really powerful holes in. Okay, I did not expect that. Powerful. <laughs> so anyway, this is a section of the destroyer, like I've said about three times now. So, I do want to show that off, but I cannot give you a time scale on that. It's taken me a few days just to get the front bit. I'm starting on the middle bit. Uh, so yeah, it's a while off, but don't worry, I've got some other ships to show you as well. I've got a... what's next? I think it's a car cargo... cargo troop transport. It's not too interesting, but it's got some interesting little features, and it is like a, it's a small ship gone large, slightly large, not huge, just small ship gone semi-large. <laughs> um, so that that'll be interesting. It's got some stuff in it which I've never really used, um, and it was I really enjoyed making the cargo and transport ship because it used so many systems that uh, I haven't used before. And it's just really nice. But anyway, I'll be showing that off next time. For now, I hope you've liked the uh, fireworks and the destruction. Uh, remember, if you do like what I do, and uh, stuff any stuff any stuff, uh, I'm going to pester you to subscribe, so please subscribe. Pester, pester, pester. So, you know you love me, pestering. Right, so, I'll see you all next time.